Hey YouTuber, we're back with another tutorial. This one is a viewer requested tutorial. I had a viewer who sent me this image and said, how would I paint something like that? Best way to explain how to paint something like that is to create a tutorial. We do things like that around here. If you guys got something you're interested in, hit me up in the comments below. I will try to get around to some tutorials and get some ideas of what you guys want to learn about. And I'll get to them. It might take me a month or so to get around to them. You know, I am pretty busy, but we will always do our best. But let's get on to this tutorial, and I'll see you guys at the end. All right, guys, for this painting today, we are using this super special surface. It's called poster board, and it's really difficult to find. you got to leave your house and go over to the, the dollar store or Walmart or your local RX store, where they have you, and pick up some poster board. Yeah, we, we, we work with the high-end materials today. And then I've got my super cool poster board stencil. $19.99 if y'all want one you just hit me up in messenger so I'm gonna use this to create my horizon line obviously I've already created the sketch um, so I'm gonna use the horizon disk for my horizon line I'm gonna take my little magnets and I'm gonna put them up there so I'm gonna work on this bottom section first that way I'm not getting any contaminated colors from before uh, working with this today I'm not worried about perfect accuracy on colors so the first thing I'm going to do is kind of simulate some of this grassy field in the background. And, you know, of course, we're at night. My pavement is drawn in here, so I don't want to get too far into it. And bonus points, if you can splatter paint on it before you even start, you get extra bonus points for that crap. So I'm going to come in here on this horizon line, real simple stuff here, guys. I'm just going to come in here. And I'm gonna start getting just crazy. I'm just doing some stuff like this. I'm gonna come up right alongside of the road bed and put some of this this lightish brown. Uh, this is dermatite, it's tan from the Creatix illustration line. Doesn't have to be dermatite as tan. Yeah, I think I put just a little bit of umber in it. So notice I'm just going crazy with these colors, laying in some base color. Won't matter much. This is my lightest color on this outside edge with the exception of there's going to be a little bit of snowy field over here and we'll do that last my next color has got just a little bit more umber in it you see it right there i'm gonna get in here you know what i'm gonna grab me one of tommy ham's texture stencils y'all have probably heard me talk about him before y'all can check him out on facebook um tommy ham you know you don't have to use texture stencils guys necessarily but they can be real handy um, so I'm going to use that in a couple of spots. Nothing much here. And I'm going to get real random and wild with these colors as well. So this picture that I have is really, really blurry. You can't really see anything in it. But in the end, it's going to be really cool. Next, I got this vile green. You know, obviously it's a grassy field, so I just want a little bit of green in here. I'm just gonna put some hints of it in a couple of a couple of spots, not everywhere. I'm just gonna have a little a hint of that green in there. All right, now I'm gonna come in here. Got a little bit of black. And I'm going to come in here and start running my horizon. I'm still going to keep everything off of my pavement. And I, and I know that you think it's black. We're going to go into it. Don't be tempted to do that. Um, so I'm going to come in here and run my horizon. It's going to be really, really dark in the horizon. Even though I got that piece there to protect it, I'm going to do still just a little bit rough on that edge. And I'm going to start working my way down. I'm not trying to simulate an exact replica of what's existing here. Um, yeah, and I don't think it has to be to be a pretty cool piece. Um, along the roadway, you want to kind of follow that parallel but keep off of the roadway just a little bit and 
Helps if your airbrush is working. Keeping them things cleaned out is helpful. Um, mine's not. And since there should be some grass and stuff in here, we'll use our And that's too strong right now. We'll knock that all back. Here, we want to come in close to the pavement line. want to make sure you get really random with those shapes. You just got to remember that your horizon is going in like this so anything you put in here is going to be shaped like that so as it gets further and further away from you which is what's happening here you know it's going to get smaller and smaller and close in on itself. I think what throws the person who asked me about this painting, I think what's gonna probably throw them off the biggest is you see how wide that V is on that road? Looking at the picture, you would never guess it was that wide right off the bat. So, got fields right over here. There's a little fence post and stuff in here. We'll, we'll insinuate that there's a fence post in there in a little bit. Until we start getting some other colors around it, it always, 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 it looks bad because you got that too much of that bright white in front of you looking at it. And yes, I'm adding more in the background and it may not be showing up too good on camera. I'll close in on it shortly and you'll be able to see that that stuff your, your eye will pick up on later in the painting and it's stuff that you'll that will show up and people will notice whether it's there or not without knowing they notice it your eye will pick up on it and something will seem off but they won't really know what it is if it isn't if you don't get stuff like that in there all right all right, so there's a little bit of snow up in these fields here. A little snow in the fields, so we're gonna get some white out. or ice or something along those lines and I'll tint, tint those in but your fence posts on the left hand side against this dark background are going to be lighter than the dark background so I'm going to insinuate some fence posts by taking we want to stay true to vertical if we put something in like this so I'm going to put some little As they get further away, they get faced further apart. Don't worry about the little blue shift that those are gonna give. We'll hit them up just a little bit. I'm gonna insinuate one.
two on the other side with the white. So I am going to take, there's some fence posts or an old fence or something like that out in the field. So I'm gonna take and put a few Now I took a little bit of burnt sienna, which has an orange tint to it, and I'm just gonna run it over these fence posts really, 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 really lightly. And then with these fence posts up front, and that's killing some of that blue shift, I'm gonna add a little bit of umber to this. Because I actually want them to be more of a wooden color. Might tie some of that. I think I'll tie some of that umber in on the sides. All right, my next color is going to be this bluish. It's probably a little too vibrant. We won't worry too much about it. I am going to turn it down. And we're going to use our old friend, the stippling effect. And we're going to go ahead and just cover it all in. We're going to cover the entire pavement in with the stippling effect. Okay, now I got a little bit of black in there. We're going to stipple with that too. I've covered all that. So now we're going to come in with our black. Only with our black, we're probably going to get a little more intentional on where we put it. All right, I got some of that texture in there. Not 100% of it. Um, covered most of that. And then I'm going to come in here. A little bit. We're going to take our texture stencil. We want some random shapes that are a little bit. Probably a little bit bigger. All right. So now that I filled it in with the stippling and I pulled my papers off, you can see the difference between that real black and that blue and those umbers and that dark umbered black. The reason I pulled these in and didn't put that way down here is because on this edge, I want that edge to be rough. The roadway is going to end and it's going to have grass and stuff sticking up on the edge. So you do not want a straight line. If I'd have used that straight piece of paper there, it would have pulled it off okay, but it'll look better by adding my pure blacks in coming in here and I'm going to freehand some stuff around and we'll blend this in. So I wanna be intentionally rough with that edge. Getting all the way, paying attention to our reference, but not necessarily painting our reference. So it won't be a little rough. We'll have that wiggly line on the outside and then a little line like they paved it before and grass is growing up. Get that effect. Same thing over here. And since we're going to a pure black on that edge, we can blend that right in. Then we'll just flash out from there a little bit here and there and get our blacks into those umbers a little bit and fix this horizon line all the way across. Make it a little more mountainy looking. Now, going to take my white. And I've got this set up like a stipple, but I'm still blending it like a reverse dagger, getting wider as I get away. And if I'm not real happy with the color, it's okay. We could take some transparent 
and blend over the top of them. Like I might probably, I'll probably darken this in here a little bit. Can't always control stippling very well. I'm gonna turn that up. Blend those in just a little bit. I wanna put a little bit more blue in it. I think it needs just a little bit of blue. A little bit more blue than what it's got in the roadway. We might bring a little more white into that in a moment. Now, I'm gonna freehand these and I may mess them up. So, I gotta get my lines in and I gotta come down this center and they're kinda crooked in the picture anyway. So, we're gonna put some lines in, road lines. If you don't feel comfortable getting these the way you want, of course you can always make a stencil. Well, that's probably a little bit too. Straight. I'll have to step back and look at that and decide if I like it or not. And then I'm gonna put some on the end, but I'm gonna start probably way over here. And they're just gonna hint at them. They're not going to be near. Once again, we're going to use the... So now I'm going to come in. I'm going to work some more on that pavement. I'm not happy with it. But I'm going to go ahead and start putting this in, the back, this part, and then... In the back the color i'm going to use right now is dermatitis tan for the bloodline illustration um lineup and i'm going to put some blood dermatitis tan we're going to stay off the lowest spots where it needs to be absolute bright uh using the gerald mendez texture effect stencil see my surely you can see my circle in here we don't have to worry about getting anything outside of the circle. Matter of fact, we're going to run it outside the circle. We're going to have some that goes off in the mountains over here. A little bit that goes off in the mountains. Working light to dark, of course. See how we're getting a little of that texture in there. Now I've got a little bit of burnt sienna in my cup. And I'm going to put the burnt sienna coming out there. This is very similar to the candle, guys. Um, of course, I want to put some coloring in here. I don't want to go too far with this just yet because I'm going to do a couple other really cool things to create some cool texture. I'm going to put a little extra sienna in here. make it just a little bit darker than I intend that the final piece to put fit and then what I'm gonna do I got poster board so I can get away with this I'm gonna take a little bit of my reducer put it on a paper towel and I'm going to dab it And then make sure it's just barely any in it. And I'm going to pull. So 
some streaks. It's going to look a little ugly like that. Um, when you first do it, it's going to look a little ugly. And that's all right. Don't worry about it. But we're going to put some more color on it. So we got this center spot right here. And we're going to pull some streaky stuff down from there. Like I said, don't let that get worried about how ugly that is. Because we are going to grab our sienna again. And our texture stencil. Y'all do know you can make your own texture stencils. So. Work out. From that crown. Notice how you can't even see that first color we put in anymore, hardly. But there's some there, and we might we might tin in just a little bit more with it. I'm gonna keep adding more. Anything that's in this background behind this won't much matter because when we put the darks around it. It'll just completely cover that up. Got a little bit of burnt umber now, which is just, you know, same tone, a little darker than. And I'm going to use I want to come off of that crown again. That I was talking about. I guess that's not a crown, but come off of that section where we got that streaky section. And see, the streaks are going to be a little too much right now. We're going to fix them. Okay, so what I've done is I've tore some more poster board. And this is going to simulate my mountains. I don't want to bring that dark color all the way in. But I got to get this outer edge. The reason I'm using torn poster board is because it creates a nice rough little edge. I'm going to run that in. I'm just going to blend gently down. Then I'll start filling in from the outside. that looks not too shabby now on this side it's gonna be a little bit different I'm gonna do it a little bit different on this side oops I'm gonna have one set of mountains in the back fully dark
This color is um, violet, straight violet mixed with just a little bit of black. You can tell the difference between my other dark colors there, hopefully. It'll be obvious here in a moment. So let's create a couple more mountain ranges. Let's do this. I want that to go all the way in there. I'm going to pair this off a little bit. like let's do something like maybe that and that I said not follow my reference exactly like back on the other side you don't want this fully involved but you want to get a little bit of blending going on with it. another set of ranges in there a little bit darker than the last pull that down. make an edge out of it Now, I'm going to put my shield back up here. Let's work on this background. What I don't want to do is come entirely down into my mountain range. So, make sure we're getting that right. Little bit tighter down there. Maybe bring that down. want that to come down a little tighter. And we're going to go even darker on this background. Well, we're not totally where we want to be. So, I'm going to hold off it just a little bit. Because I want a little more of the umbers in there. This is transparent umber. I'm gonna put it in. Just wanted a little more. 
lumbered color around the bottom. Maybe it'll blend in with those violets just fine. Subtle difference. bit of work around that mountain. Now what I'm going to do is get out to really darken that in. I'm going to take my mumber. I'm going to mix it little with the blue only it's going to be a little more blue than it is umber get some of those blue tones up in the top use my shield not the best shield really that line should be a little crisper this is just a piece of uh, drywall tape I had laying around. Yeah, maybe do a little freehand work in here. Like there's some stuff sticking up in the fields. No, it's not in my reference, but really doesn't much matter. Now, not real happy with my pavement. I think I messed up my lines a little bit. So, Got this blue, gonna make it a little bit darker, a little too much on the blue side right now for my taste. So I'm gonna mix up some more of that uh, a really really dark blue. So mix in black with some blue. Be a little reducer in here. We do make this. I'm gonna race out a couple of my lines because I'm not thrilled with my pavement so y'all bear with me a moment I know y'all staring at that sun we're not even done with that sun just yet so I'm gonna come in here I'm gonna get back to stippling it's like a low pressure stippling, but I'm gonna I'm gonna race out this bottom piece here. I'm gonna run these this stippling in and darken up a little bit of this pavement here. using all a stippling effect right now. So the thing to be careful about here is these make it some pretty big drops, so you're gonna have to let them set. All right, now I got a really, really dark brown 
Now I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more work. Just want to make sure I don't get a muddy look to it. Make sure I don't have too much blue in there. So I'm going to go real slow until I check the color. try to that's on fire just a little bit of touch up here and there you know you guys get this far and you, you think it's looking pretty good don't start jumping in there and touching it up Unless you're a hundred percent sure you're gonna be happy with it. Questioning myself every step I make, going, do I want to do any more to it? Because it looks pretty good right now. See how those those browns got that slight greenish tone to it. Um, it's not reference accurate but it's something that i like so so this last step right here is something you could skip but i'm digging it All right, guys, hope you got something out of this here today. Uh, if you did appreciate this video, I'm going to ask you to do a couple things for me. One is give me the thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give me the thumbs down, but you're probably not watching this far along if you didn't like the video anyway. The other thing I'd like to ask you to do, hey, if you liked the video, enjoyed it, throw some comments down below. If there's something you want to know about, something that you're unsure about that we've gone over, always address it down in the comments below. One, it helps my analytics, and two, you know, it'll make sure that I get to see what you're asking about. I don't, can't read minds through the uh, camera, so I don't know what y'all are looking for. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, notification bell. I've got lots of other videos you can go through and check out, and I've got new videos coming out all the time. Um, that's it for today, guys. I appreciate y'all stopping by. As always, there are links down in the description below for some of the materials and tools that I use. So that's about it. Y'all have a good one. Bye.